Welcome to the third lesson. This is about becoming more aware of the negative vibes, negative vibrations that are happening. Now I want to speak firstly about the negative vibes you may feel sometimes in your home, certain space spots in your home, or in a new when you go and visit a new place, or somebody else's home, you start to feel an eerie, a coldness, um, a negativity, um, some people feel fear as they enter. So I want to give you a really, really quick um, tool to add to your tool belt of psychic protection is before you enter the threshold of a house to ask for permission from the guards and protectors of the land for the spirits who dwell there. Because sometimes there will be spirits that dwell in houses because they're there to teach a lesson or learn a lesson with that family. And you are entering that home. So if you are respectful to them, just by acknowledging them and saying, I ask permission to enter, then you won't necessarily feel those vibes as much. It will be clear. It's almost like a, a clearing for you to, to enter with permission, with, with humility. So that is a very, very simple thing you can do. And you can say that in your mind. I usually will say that in my mind, especially when I'm entering a new home. If I'm visiting a friend or a client or going to a new place, I always ask permission before I enter the threshold. Or sometimes when I'm driving, when I'm entering that area or that suburb to ask for protection. So that's a really a beautiful way to become aware of vibes, net of vibes. And eliminating the negative vibe before you even feel it so that's an, an instant um, protection there another way that you will feel a negative vibe is um, sometimes if it's something that you're going through that triggers you you may feel a negative vibe from say a place um, and it may have something to do with a little lesson that, that you're trying, that somebody's trying to help you with. I'll give you an example. I spent a lot of time in Bali and um, one time I went to an area that I hadn't been in before. It was Sanur, the area was Sanur. And it was right on the beach. And I was staying with friends and we were staying in a, a beautiful hotel. And outside the hotel was, was right on the waterfront on the beach. And there was like a pagoda that was just outside in the, in the hotel area, but very, very close to the edge and heading more towards the west. Um, and it was facing the ocean, but we had, a, we had a view of this really old building. Some of the buildings in Bali, they're, they're very traditional, but you can tell that they're new materials. But this one in the distance was really really old it was it was giving me an eerie feeling and I would look out at it every now and then and it was like I could feel a gust a gust of wind there was no gust coming but in my energy I felt like a gust of wind coming from there and I was with a friend who's a psychic healer he's a shaman and a teacher and um, he noticed that I felt something and he said to me that there was a, a, a spirit coming in that gust, uh, he must have felt it too, um, to help me with something. And I was going through a really a, a deep loneliness at that time and I wasn't really acknowledging it, I wasn't addressing it. I, I would feel it, but you know, like I taught in the last lesson where, where, where the pain is sometimes so strong, we can either um, internalize it or project it out. I'm the sort of person that will really internalize it and it, it can make me sick. But in this instance, I was feeling loneliness, but I, I wasn't acknowledging that loneliness. And there was a spirit that came from that um, old building that used to be um, like a, a convent or something. When the Dutch came over, they colonized certain areas of Bali and this one was a very European kind of looking building. It was a, like a convent. And there was a spirit of an old woman there who felt me when I was on the beach. And she had to learn something about her loneliness. And so what happened was, it was almost like our energies came together and it was an opportunity for us to learn. 
to learn something about our loneliness. And what I learned that day was to admit it. It was that simple lesson that I taught you um, in the last video about admitting your feeling you know, being the first step. And so she helped me because my shaman teacher told me the story of, of what she was saying to him. And he's a medium as well. And so he was sharing what she'd been through and there was a lot of loneliness in her life. And as she was sharing her story through my teacher, my loneliness came up. And so it was an opportunity for me to clear that by admitting it. I didn't have to look at it too deeply by admitting it. And as soon as I admitted it, she left. So she got her lesson and her, her, um, her intention was to help me and then that she could clear and she could move on. So sometimes in the, in the spiritual realms, people are learning things as well as we are in, in their lessons. And sometimes they learn it with us. So if you're an empath and some of you might be mediums, um, you may know it or you may not know it yet. So spirits will be attracted to you to uh, clear things and it's like helping another person so once you uh, start to um, let go of your fear about what you're feeling about vibes you kind of won't see it as negative or positive anymore you'll see it more as an energy an energy of something and sometimes the energies have a lesson for us to learn so i hope that that has helped you to sort of look at your life and your examples in your life about how you can have more a deeper compassion with a negative vibe rather than going, oh, clear it away.